It's crunch time for these students who are setting their sights on graduate schools abroad. And application deadlines are just around the corner. Zhang Zekun is applying to 10 universities in the U.S. for his master's. He's been preparing for more than a year now. I want to go abroad to see some different culture in, in one of the most developed country in around the world. Besides reviewing for tests, many Chinese applicants turn to companies that offer them guidance, from picking schools and programs that match their profiles to improving their application essays. And it doesn't come cheap. At New Oriental Education and Technology Group, China's largest education agency, the cost of overseas study consulting services can average at about 30,000 yuan or roughly 4,500 U.S. dollars. It's quite promising because we've seen increasing number of Chinese students still want to go to abroad. I think many families and many parents can afford their children to go to study abroad, to enrich their life learning, and also to expand their horizon and employment mm -hmm. possibilities. New Oriental's overseas study consultancy earned more than 1 billion yuan or $150 million last year, a record high for the company. But even smaller agencies are cashing in on the growing number of Chinese who want to study abroad. In 2016, the education consulting firm Better Education generated more than $3 million in revenue. When we established our company in 2010, we have only 50 students in the first year. Um, but now we are serving about uh, 1,000 students. China's education ministry says more than half a million Chinese went abroad to study in 2016, higher than in previous years. With hundreds of thousands of students aiming for an overseas education every year, study abroad agencies have become a fast-growing and lucrative sector here in China. Now, beginning this year, the government no longer required agencies to get licenses from provincial education bureaus, making it easier for new players to enter the market. But the nonprofit Beijing Overseas Studies Service Association, also known as PASA, says it's now harder to ensure agencies provide quality service and do not commit fraud. PASA set up a system to help institutions abroad verify the academic records of student applicants. It also has a training program for consultants and a hotline for customer complaints. Those who commit fraud and violate our principles and standards will be sanctioned and will publicize what they did. Our goal is deterrence. If they lose their credibility in this market, they lose their credibility elsewhere. But BASA holds sway only over its 200-plus members, a tiny fraction of an estimated 4,000 agencies operating across China, fueled by an ever-growing demand. Ryan Chua, CGTN, Beijing.